Hello YouTube. So in this episode I have a very interesting scenario that happened. And basically it's me trying to gank a retriever and out of that retriever I actually kill an omen in a frigate. I was using a Tristan and it's a new Tristan I will put you the the fit in, in, in a minute. But I just wanna say that this is why I play Eve this is why I enjoy this game so much because you never know what's gonna happen you never know what an outcome is gonna turn out afterwards because there are so many parties involved that can actually make a difference in what you're actually doing for example in this fight you will see that I, I, I was trying to gank a retriever and an omen weapon and he was also trying to gank the retriever but he warped in I don't know like 10 seconds later after I did and as soon as I saw the, the omen um, land I I took some actions and it turned out in my favor and you'll see in this video so this is the fit I, I use him it is a Galente friggin it's called a Tristan as you can see and we have three small nudes on the top one afterburner, a scram, a scrambler. We have a small cap booster, and we also we're using 400 um, size charges in here. And damage control, don't drum its amplifier, a small ancillary armor wrapper. We're using two nano pumps and one ancillary ancillary current router to make everything fit. And this fit first, the first time I came across it was uh, a friend of mine and CEO of my core, um, Vero, and. He made this fit. It was similar to this, but I kind of tweaked it to my to my liking. And it is very powerful because you will be able to move. I don't know a frigate in maybe three cycles. It will be capped out, and it is. It has a lot of DPS. As as you can see, it has I don't know like 120 DPS. In one second. Yeah, 98 DPS, which is pretty good with warriors. And the reason why I'm using hot goblins and warriors, it's because, and you will see me use it in this in this clip. Because at first I was trying to gank the retriever, I need as much as as much DPS as I I could project. So I released three hot goblins and then two warriors to have um, more DPS. Because hot goblins have more DPS, but they're a little bit slower. In case I'm um um encountering a kiting ship and I need to get a, um, I need to apply some damage I can just release five warriors so this is the reason why I have five warriors and three hot goblins so let's look at the fight and I'll try to explain you how everything happened so in this fight I decided to give you the full scenario how everything happened um, from the point where I found the retriever as you can see in this system I saw a retriever and it has he didn't change the name so I basically I already knew who was flying the ship and I noticed it was a fairly new player and by the way I'm running this video at 75% speed just to, uh, just to make it a little bit slower but not too long either way um, so I go to my D-scans tab and I noticed there are no mining belts in the system so for a second I started as you can see I started checking every every start to make sure that okay there's no mining belts in the system and then I went ahead and remember that there are mining signatures that you can just warp into so I changed to my probe scanner probes I mean tab and and right here I'm just checking how far he is um, I think he came out, yeah, between 5 and 10 AU. So, what I decided to do is just go to my prober, um, probe scanner tab, and then I found that there's some mining sites, so I just warped straight into it. And again, I wasn't expecting anything else other than a gank, an easy gank. And yeah, it might be a ship that it cannot defend itself, but. What are you doing in low? What are you doing in low sig in a mining barge? You know, um, I will not let it go away. If it gives me a, a opportunity to kill it, I will kill anything I see, either in low sig, high sig, or no sig, whether you like it or not. I'm just that's the way I play. If you give me an opportunity to kill you, I will kill you. 
So in here, there's the first mistake I come, I, I made. I didn't overheat my scram. It's not that it's not a big deal because I don't think he will be able to get away so easy. So he he's not aligned. He doesn't align that fast. So in here you see me launch three hog goblins and two warriors for max DPS, and I'm basically just nooting him just to turn off. Some sometimes they feel as they they use a small wrapper and or an imbo so just to turn it off. Here's where you need to be aware of everything that's happening. Even if you're killing a mining barge, you always need to check your D scan. As you can see, I lowered all the way to one of you, and I noticed that an omen was coming. And it's either trying to help me kill it, get on the kill as well, or help the mining barge. So as soon as he lands, I say, screw the mining barge, let me go for the omen because I'm not dying to, um, um, on this omen and for some reason I was go I, I was going for him and he gained speed and I really thought he was gonna kill me he was gonna try to kite me or something but then he comes back um he got up to 17 kilometers and then he came back right away so as soon as I put my scrum on um I turn off his mic his micro and all you have to do now to mitigate the laser damage is orbit at 500 now the big problem is the drones he has five drones too he also has three extras so right away I changed to my drone tab and start killing drones this is my main priority now um, one mistake I, that I make that you see that my drones had to travel all the way 17 kilometers from the from the retriever to the omen I should have um, aggressed them later so here I almost died just because I was receiving damage from all those five drones at one time and it's a lot of DPS. I cannot tank it that much. And as you notice, I wasn't overheating my wrapper. So I try not, I, I wasn't overheating my wrapper, so I wasn't getting maximum um, repping that, repping amount. And you should always overheat your wrapper. Also, I was in here. He recalls his drones and then he launches it back. And he does this to prevent me from killing them because I have to waste time into retargeting them and start killing them one by one. And he can also he can actually do more DPS while I'm trying to retarget these drones. So this is a good a good technique on his part. As you can see my cap booster was kinda bugged, so I had to open my my tab and, and drag the cap booster in, into the into the module again. And my um, ancillary repers started reloading, which is a good thing. Is I I kind of I'm, I'm kind of glad that it reloaded because he was recalling drones, launching them back, recalling drones um, right away. So he wasn't applying a lot of DPS. So I wasn't too worried about it. As you can see right now, he gave me a lot of time to reload my my ancillary repper because he's trying to kill the um, retriever. And he we hear he killed it, so it gave me plenty of time to try to reload my my medium my small ancillary wrapper. So here that uh, I just keep nooting him at the at the end the nooting didn't make much because he had a a cut booster as well, so it wasn't affecting him. But to any other cruiser, it will it will probably turn off his guns. Not as fast as the frigate, but it will turn off his guns eventually, or at least put some cap, cap pressure on him. So here I keep killing drones. This is my main priority now: kill drones, because because I'm orbiting at 500. His guns are too large to track me, so he's not doing any damage with his guns. The only thing that can kill me are his drones, and I think I already killed maybe four drones of his. So I know he has one drone left and then three others that I haven't seen. So I don't know what, what those other t um, three drones are. So in here we see what they are. They are ECM um, drones. And these are just as dangerous as the other drones are because I've been jammed before by one single ECM drone, believe it or not. One single ECM drone can change the whole fight. So it's really important that I kill those ECM drones as soon as possible because it's pretty much a dumb fight now. If if I kill those ECM drones, I don't get jammed. I'm it's a hundred percent win fight for me. So it is very important. And here he just 
launches another two warriors. I, 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 so I only killed three warriors, not four. So again, try to kill these warriors. It is my first priority. I need to kill them. So we keep killing drones, and this is, I mean, this pilot made no mistakes. Um, his only mistake was to probably burn back for me to scram him, and I think he did that because he didn't want it to be triggered to get away. But his his piloting was pretty cool. Um, he did what he supposed he was supposed to. He recalled drones, um, launched them out, and recalled drones again and launched them out. I mean, this was a good pilot. Um, I mean, this is the 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 good things about a frigate, you know. One, you can really get under his guns and actually do some damage. And here, after after I killed the last the last uh, drone, I pretty much it was a done deal. You know, there's nothing he can do. He can just wait there and die because he didn't kill any of my drones either. Um. I'm pretty sure if he knew that I was a nut, complete nut fit, he would have started killing my drones as well. But um, I don't know how that would have turned out. Probably he would have killed my drones first, maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure. But yeah, um, it was a pretty cool fight. And like I say, like I said in the in um intro, guys, this is why I really enjoy playing Eve. Not only playing Eve, PvPing in Eve, which is a complete um, new deal, you know, industry has its perks and other stuff are kind of boring to me. Actually, they're pretty boring. I never done a mission before. Um, and this is why I play Eve, you know. You never know what's gonna happen. You never know if you're gonna get a, a really cool kill like this one. You never know if you're gonna jump into a gate camp and completely die. Um, and completely die to the gate camp and stuff like that. And I mean, this this is why this is why I I started making these videos to try to get more people involved into PvP and especially small gang and solo PvP. And because I don't, I'm not usually a fan of blobs and stuff like that. I usually stay with my small gangs and um try to get a fair fight. But yeah, after that, I I asked the guy if if, we, if he was um trying to defend the retriever he told me no and I checked his he was a tusker of course he wasn't trying to, to defend the retriever he's um, in a pirate corporation so guys thank you um thank you for watching my video I hope you like it I hope you learned something if you have any questions you can either send me a mail in game or you can post them here in the YouTube channel I will answer them I will try to do my best to answer again my disclaimer I'm not proclaiming that I'm a, a pro PvP -er. I'm just a regular guy that has been playing E for two years and this is what you can achieve when you have become a decent PvP -er, you know. Um I'm not proclaiming that I'm a pro PvP. -er. I'm just a decent PvP -er, like uh um a regular guy that just enjoys Eve Online PvP. So guys, stay tuned because I will be posting if you're in case you're interested, uh, make sure you subscribe and um, stay tuned for more updates because I'll be releasing an, um, a video about damage selection and I don't know when to apply EM damage or explosive damage or ton more damage explaining all that and also I'll be launching um, I'll be making a series about new e players and how they should start about um, solo PvP let's say if they want to be a Galente pilot what kind of um, skills to get into, what to expect. Um, what uh, let's say if you want to be a Minmatar pilot, what kind of ships you want to get into, skills that are important for um, flying Minmatar and what to expect. And I'll be doing that for Kaldori and Amar as well. I'll be making another video about the differences between weapon systems and how they track and how missiles don't have tracking but they have explosive radius and ex and explosion velocity how that affects every other ship so if you're interested in that make sure you hit the subscribe button and um, I mean any likes dislikes make sure you post them likes is that that gives me a lot of feedback what people are interested in so thank you guys and I'll see you on the next time
lastly guys sorry if i was making weird noise weird noises or i sound kind of weird and nasty it's because i've been sick for like a week or so and also the allergies are getting pretty bad so sorry for that but thanks for watching the video again thank you guys